Hello again. Navy vet out at the range with my Spanish ruby, actually French ruby, made by Spain. This is a third video on this, and I was having issues with feeding. Um, one of the issues was the feed lips on the magazine. Uh, I did some further research and discovered I was using too big a bullet, and the case mouth was too thick. It wouldn't chamber properly. Hopefully, I've solved the issue. We're going to find out together. I also went from a yeah, what, what bullet was that? It was a cast bullet and it was sized to 310 thousandths. Um, these are sized to 309 and the case mouth allows them to chamber it's supposed to. I'm hoping that I've solved that issue. And also I went to a Barry's copper plated bullet. It's a 71 grain round nose bullet. And I'm using two grains of unique with this and an overall length of 920 thousandths. One of the other things I discovered was my overall length was what the book suggested and they don't chamber in this gun. They're too long and they hit on the edge of the bore where it's the chamber starts. The end of the chamber is and the bore begins. There's not really a lot of uh, taper in there. It's, it's, uh, and if you can't, I couldn't use a um, recommended overall length in the reloading manual. So I had to do some trial and error. I took the barrel out of the gun and then just dropped around in. The overall length gauge showed these to be still in tolerance, but right on the low side. So, I don't know. I think I've got five in here. I get to talking and I wasn't counting. So, what I want to do is do a function test. Because as you've seen in my previous videos, the factory loads, the factory loads work. And so I did some measurements of the cases and discovered my cases were way too big. So I'm going to move this up to five. around and look at that right off the bat okay it's in there now all right back away a little bit let's see what we get Must have been four, but they all worked. Try to lock this back. Clear. So, all right. I hate having to chase brass. So anyway, I'm going to pause. Okay, I kind of saved my brass. Ammo is very expensive, and uh, it just behooves me to do everything I can to save the brass. 
So that was the four shot. Obviously the first shot hung up, but then the uh, the next ones went off just fine. The problem with this is it shares a there's a spring right in here, and it um, is a hammer spring, but it's also the latch for the magazine. And when the spring is under tension, I can't pull the mag. So let's try another five. Again, these are Barry's copper-plated bullets. Um, they were a really good deal. They're um, 71 grains, like I said, if I can find my data. Yeah, they're 71 grains. And everything all together now, it looks like my problem was my bullets were actually too big and my overall length was wrong. And that was causing the issues with this gun. Okay, again, we're at five yards. I want to save the cases, though. Might help to rack around. And again, I'm flinching. I need a lot more practice with a pistol to quit this anticipation and this flinch. And a hang. Still hanging up a little bit. I think it's a feed lips now. I had one more. That seemed to work really good. Okay, so other than the, the occasional feeding issue, it cycles pretty well. I think it's probably feed lips. Maybe the ramp needs polish, but I know it's not the ammo now. So that's been eliminated. Look how I bring a target in. keep from flinching. <laughs> so I'm going to do some more and uh, we'll put the camera on the target this time. Okay. Five yards. And Now I don't want to shoot. Alright. It's 
not resetting the trigger now. Okay, now I got another issue. Okay, I reloaded the magazine. Let's try it again. got a problem. I don't know what's going on. If it's slightly out of battery or what. But it's not working. Now I got issues with the pistol itself. Okay. Just when I think I got my problem. Something else happens. I don't know what's going on. Whether I'm slightly out of battery or or what the deal if I um, rack around I don't know if it's fire or not there's one now It appears we're in battery. But I don't know what's going on. Something's not re-engaging the hammer or something. Maybe, I don't know, because I if the, the, the round that didn't fire, if I re-rack it, it fires. Now we're having issues when it's in the chamber. Sometimes it's not cocked, the hammer. Okay, it's just one thing right after another, isn't it? Pulled the target in and looks like it's tumbling a little bit. Should be nice round holes. Those are not or nice round holes. Um, my seating depth, it isn't in there very far. I don't know how much further I can put it in. But that's the berries bullets. So, now I did redo the cast bullets, and all I did was run the whole cartridge through a homemade sizing die to bring the outside of the cartridge down to where it would chamber. The overall length on this is actually below the uh, cartridge, the case gauge dimensions. So I haven't tried these yet. We'll see how these work. We'll, um, we'll do five. These may not work. I don't know. These were my cast loads, and the only thing I did was just resize the cases once I realized my case dimensions were off. One thing I didn't realize was the case gauges don't actually, well the one I bought anyway, doesn't actually measure the cartridge outside dimensions. It just measures the, the overall length, and I didn't know that, but after some further research okay you see there it's in the part way in we're in battery let me uh, get another target set up
Again, it did not engage the um, it's actually stuck. blew the primer and it's stuck in the gun well, that's interesting okay all right well it's not a very good day today is it maybe bet 76 back to the drawing board